Hi, welcome to the Careers Unfiltered podcast with Mentoria. You may know your dream job, you may know your dream career, but do you know what goes on behind the scenes in your chosen career path? Have you been able to separate the glamour from the reality in your career? Do you know the good, the bad and the ugly in your career? Most people walk into their careers without having any idea in terms of what really happens in that career, how to crack success, how to get the right job, how to grow in the career. Don't be those people. Get the ins and outs of your career path through some of the best subject matter experts and industry professionals that Mentoria will bring to you on the Careers Unfiltered podcast. If anyone loves understanding an area fully, in a domain fully, they are uh, they have the quest uh, for knowledge, right? Um, and they want to go into the depths of any subject area, um, then they are fit to be an ontologist. Ontology basically uh, is about representing knowledge of any domain. Um, now that artificial intelligence is the buzzword, right? And uh, we are in the era of AI. Uh, we are trying to make machines understand so that machines will help us do a great deal of work. Um, so in this era, ontology becomes very important because for machines to carry out any task, they need the knowledge that we as humans, for, for us, it's quite natural to have that knowledge. Uh, whereas for machines to understand and do a, a job, they need that knowledge. So how do we actually provide knowledge for machines so that machines can um, do a job uh, similar to how we humans do? So in order to provide the knowledge of any domain uh, to make machines understand, right? Um, we need ontologies. So ontologies basically help to specify the domain knowledge. And ontology is about identifying what are the key players or entities in a domain, what relationships they have with each other, what are their definitions, what is the meaning. Um, so that is what is an ontology uh, about. So to make it more simpler, right, let's take an example. Suppose we take the domain of uh, e-commerce, right? We have different products, we have their variants, we have uh, their cost price, the selling price, we have different payment payment methods that a customer can use. And then we have the customer base itself, the customer's preferred uh, delivery address, the customer's name, phone number. Um, then we have uh, the shopping sales, which uh, go online, right? So there are these different entities which are of interest in the domain of e-commerce. And each of these concepts are related to the other concepts in some way, right? So how can machines understand this domain of e-commerce, right? Uh, if, if they have to understand the data, e-commerce data, then they need some kind of background. So this background knowledge about a domain, right? How do we specify this background knowledge? So that is all about what an ontologist does. Actually, there are uh, many areas within ontology uh, research. Um, so uh, there is something called as ontology alignment, there is ontology matching. Um, then uh, now that we have um, knowledge graphs, which are the key for any AI machine to um, uh, perform well. Um, there are many, many uh, sub research areas within the domain of ontology and semantic web. So whatever domain you consider, right? Um, we can uh, define an ontology and uh, suppose you ha consider sports domain now. Uh, there can be a sports ontology, but within sports itself, like for cricket, there can be a much more detailed uh, ontology for cricket. Um, so it all depends on the end goal or the application, what we are trying to do with an ontology. Uh, we can define an ontology for any domain or subdomain. And if you ask me uh, what different directions somebody can take if they know if they start learning about ontology and semantic web technologies uh, there are umpteen number of research problems uh, and uh, uh, they can um, dive deep into any of these areas 
usually uh, computing skills um, so anybody uh, with um, a subject within computer science and having done courses in semantic web technologies um, this is a um, prerequisite i would say and um, as i mentioned few soft skills right trying to be curious trying to be inquisitive trying to uh, have the passion to uh, read a lot and then understand uh, and then discuss with domain experts so there are a set of hard skills there are a set of soft skills so both in combination uh, will definitely uh, help to be successful in this domain any uh, course within their pre university uh, which uh, mostly has computing skills uh, computer science as a subject and later within bachelor's degree having semantic web technologies uh, something to do with data analysis um, so these courses will definitely uh, push and put them on the right track there are quite a few on udemy and coursera um, there is uh, practical knowledge modeling um ontology development uh, and then uh, there is one more metadata and ontologies um and protege uh, protege is basically a tool which helps to create um, ontologies and protege also offers uh, short courses um which actually can give uh, hands on experience of building an ontology um and there are a uh, few universities abroad uh, uh, which offer summer schools for ontology and semantic web technologies over the last decade uh, things have really changed and uh, there are many many universities offering uh, courses and um, when we say uh, ontology and semantic web technology standards right uh, they are all open source and uh, the semantic web technologies uh, there are standards uh, given by world wide web consortium Uh, so if we go to w3c we have uh, all the required uh, material to start off to understand and start off um, stanford has one um, and uh, there are many within europe uh, technische university vienna has uh, courses uh, for uh, ontology um, university of leipzig in germany has university of mannheim has there is open hpi max planck institute there is rens laser polytechnic uh, with the new us um and yeah uh, in, in india also i've seen uh, there are few uh, like amrita vishwa vidya peetham there is uh, iit um, chennai uh, there is nitk um all of them have courses uh, for ontology doctoral degree uh, it has given me the rigor and it has added to my passion to read in detail and understand and it has helped me uh, a lot to be uh, more inquisitive more curious and um, curiosity has helped to know the unknown right and to be able to gain more and more understanding um, and for an ontologist as i told uh, uh, in order to uh, make machines understand first thing is we understand it it is not like a compulsion computing skills are required and uh, um, an engineering degree uh, will always help because um, the i mean as an engineer i have seen the differences with some of my colleagues right um, those with an engineering degree have a different approach uh, to uh, the problems that are thrown at them right so um, engineering uh, degree i would not say is a must but it definitely helps and uh, yeah but somebody has to be more hands on with computing the human qualities right if you like keeping things organized if you like classifying things if you like if you enjoy categorizing them then you will definitely enjoy being an ontologist if somebody uh, um, is inquisitive and asks the right set of questions then domain experts will, will be able to share their knowledge about the domain and that is what helps as an ontologist if they are really keen on you know organizing things classifying things trying to understand the domain better and go, uh, trying to deep dive and uh, research and read and you know so these these skills are very important um but yeah if they have computing skills then 
any other uh, domain so you said commerce but it can be anything if they have these soft skills plus they have some computing skills then definitely yes so the soft skills matter a lot because as we go right uh, over the years we need to enjoy our work and that's yeah. what makes anybody successful uh, we have exciting different set of activities during the day so it all depends on which phase a project is in right so when when the project begins in the initial days um it's about it's, it would be more about talking to domain experts business partners so domain experts will help us to get the right understanding of the domain um and the business partners uh, will let us know what the end goal is for the project right what is the business goal and what is the return on investment the business is trying to uh, get out of this project right what the project has to ultimately achieve so it would be more of discussion with uh these two sets of people um domain experts and business partners it will be a lot of brainstorming it will be having interviews with them and uh, that is how the initial few days of the beginning of a project would look like and next few days or months will go in trying to conceptualize the domain right once we have understood uh we try to make machines understand by encoding this knowledge and we initially start off with a prototype with a small prototype of the system and um, once a small prototype is built we iterate uh, through the business partners we try to uh, see if what we have understood and uh, try to encode into machines is it the same that the business partners or the domain experts had in their mind right um so we just do this um, knowledge check uh, and see whatever we have built is the right thing what they are actually expecting so this is how uh, the next few days would look like and um, next uh, after uh, we get a sign off saying okay the prototype is good but we want more and more features added to it next we actually start building the system on production right and um, this would uh, involve uh, building the system building interfaces uh, which means to say that uh, any end user how would the end user interact with the system right so it all goes about doing this and uh, then we showcase the results uh, to the uh, project uh, stakeholders and then it goes on in an iterative fashion so they would want more features they would want uh, changes to few features and we try to you know uh, cater to those needs of the business user so all in all uh, more curiosity inquisitiveness and interaction with people so these these are set of soft skills which are definitely required and they will help build intelligent applications for the benefit of the world yeah asking the right questions to get the right knowledge from a domain expert right it is not uh, i would not say it is like it is impossible but it uh, i mean the people are different and what they have in their mind and how how can we get that out of their uh, brain right the the domain knowledge needs to be uh, you know <laughs> got from their ex- knowledge is always a growing artifact so knowledge is not stagnant right so every day there is something new which comes in so change is the only constant so you should be able to you know cater to the changes of the business and uh, also cater to the uh, new knowledge which is coming in right? um so meeting the expectations of business stakeholders uh, and uh, initially especially initially when we try to build an ontology it is still in its uh, in its nascent stage wherein you cannot Uh, uh expect the ontology or the knowledge graph that you build to answer everything on earth right it is it doesn't have the super powers so the uh, initial few days where business would have very high expectations okay uh, uh, artificial intelligence everything is built into the machine and you are going to uh, um, exploit the machine right initial few days uh, it is not possible because the machine is still trying to learn the mach- we are trying to encode the domain knowledge and it is it all happens incrementally during their bachelor's degree right uh, it could be as small as trying to understand a small domain build a small ontology and see how they can um, actually build an application which uses this ontology uh, that will uh, help uh, as an ontologist 
so if somebody uh, um, is inquisitive and asks the right set of questions then domain experts would will, will be able to share their knowledge about the domain and that is what helps as an ontologist so a, when you say a course uh, any a course within their pre university um, which uh, uh, mostly has computing skills uh, computer science as a subject and later within bachelor's degree having semantic web technologies uh, something to do with data analysis um, so these courses will definitely uh, push and put them on the right track uh, ai is in the forefront and uh, we also know large language models which are being exploited right and very uh, recently i think about a month or two uh, ago we also got the gartner report uh, that for next few more years knowledge graphs uh, are required to back for the large language models so uh, they give they help us to give the right domain knowledge so large language models uh, cannot hallucinate if they are backed by uh, knowledge graphs so i i would say building an ontology and then populating the ontology with the data that is what makes a knowledge graph so ontologists have a lot of opportunities in the coming days and in all kinds of industries so uh, the opportunities aren't limited at all and uh, it is no more a very niche field i would say so academic research is a good place uh, it provides innumerable opportunities um, to basically um, do a lot of research and um, keep this space of semantic web and ontologies uh, growing it is possible to uh, make a switch from academia to industry or industry back into academia so i have done those switches many times and uh, it all depends on how the market looks like at that point of time right and uh, it also depends on the requirements which are there um, e- even for uh, any um, research positions or uh, for um, development positions within the uh, corporate setup um, what their requirements are and do we have those set of uh, requirements fulfilled within our uh, resume so it all depends on that and building a right network which is supportive right uh, that is what can make the shifts between acad- academia and corporate world uh, smooth and beneficial if they have uh, knowledge about uh, one domain say they are subject matter experts in a particular domain uh, then they would be uh, in quite a demand say for example uh, biologists right um, so in order to build uh, a domain ontology within this space um, biologists have all the knowledge that uh, is required to build an ontology and if they also have the computing skills right then um, it just becomes very easy uh, um, or uh, you mentioned about uh, somebody who has studied um, commerce earlier so anything to do with finance if they are like um, they already have the knowledge and they are also interested in picking up few computing skills which is not e- uh, not very difficult i would say so then they are again uh, can make the switch um, very seamlessly domain knowledge and computing skills that is a thing and if you enjoy being going into the greater depths and trying to understand things uh, if you are a knowledge seeker basically then uh, from any uh, different field you can make this switch but it is always better to have a few hands on projects that you do before actually applying for a as a fresher or with little experience we would start as an ontologist and then um, the next stages all depends on the industry we are into the organization we are into so the progression actually depends on the orga- organization how it wants to take forward the semantic technologies right so we can grow uh, into a semantic expert being able to uh, handle uh, end to end project pipelines right um, then we can uh, also become a lead and basically this path purely depends on the organization which we are in most organizations are now embracing these technologies and um, 
definitely uh, more and more roles um, would get added um, but from the times i began um, ontologist as a beginner that was just the role because it was all new then but that is not the case now and that will not be the case in the future as well there will be more roles added for career progression most um, large industries and uh, large organizations have already embraced this technology and uh, uh, there are already a lot of uh, uh, opportunities to get into um, so very soon so when you say 5 years from now uh, definitely uh, more and more uh, medium and small organizations um, will take benefit of ai and they would definitely want uh, uh, ontologists or uh, knowledge engineers because uh, when we are trying to build any ai solution right we want the solution to be right and uh, to be more logically uh, explainable so Uh, more industries uh, would want uh, their data to be semanticized they want somebody to understand the domain knowledge and encode it into the machines so i would say more jobs and more roles and uh, it is definitely a green uh, future wherever work can be automatized wherever uh, small tasks uh, can uh, be done by machines right um so if machines have to do the job then they need that knowledge and that knowledge can be imparted by an ontologist to the machines so in that sense uh, there is no stop so any sector where anything small can be automat- automatized anything small or big can be automatized um so uh, there would be roles uh, for ontologists in any sector so already uh, healthcare automotive domain finance uh, they have embraced these technologies very well and there are many more domains to be explored any uh, ai ml engineer uh, the the salary of ai ml engineer right it is quite comparable uh, for ontologists as well so the scale that they have uh, for the number of years of experience that they would have um, we can say that it is the same for an ontologist i think there are many groups on linkedin uh, which uh, can help um, a beginner as well as uh, people who are already uh, there as ontologists so we have taxonomy and ontology community of practice uh, within linkedin we have the graph community we have um, semantic web um, groups and forums and there are knowledge graph uh, conference channels there are um, semantic web conference channels um so being there actively on linkedin uh, and uh, joining these communities and trying to follow their posts and you know uh, trying to interact with people uh, in this field um, can help us stay uh, update, uh, updated always <laughs>